Hello, my friends, and welcome to my video discussing whether upgrading the iPod Classic 7th generation 160 gig uh, standard drive to a 512 gig SSD is worthwhile. Um, you can stop watching now, I'll just say yes. It adds to the experience, but there are a few caveats, and let's get into them. So, what do we have here? We have two original iPod Classic 7th generation iPods. They're both 160 gig, all right? And you see that? Okay. So both of these are 160 gig, and this is the one I bought. And with a custom shell, custom black face, and this custom back shell. So what what is the upgrade to? The upgrade is from a spinning 160 gig drive that the iPod originally shipped with to a brand new 512 gig SSD drive. On the eBay listing, they were giving the option of getting an SSD or an SDXC. And I went on Reddit and people were explaining that the SSD has better seek time, easier to access. So the experience with an SSD is that the song fe at least feels like it switches a half a second to a second later. So when you have 100 songs, it's not such of a big deal. But when you have to start getting a collection of, let's say, 1,800 songs, right? Like, you see this? Like, switching is kind of nice. So over here, play. Let's see. See, the seek time, and then, and then it goes to one second, right? So what we want to look at, oh, is it playing? You heard that spinning drive sound? That's a spinning drive in there. This one doesn't have it. So what is the benefit of having the SSD drive in there? Apparently, if you drop this guy, the SSD spinning drive could like get off wobble and break. Like easier for it to break. The 512 gig, it's an SSD, so there's no sp spinning parts anymore. What is the additional benefit? Because it's an SSD, it takes less power. And this guy with an upgraded 3000 mAh battery um, is really nice. I mean, when, when I got this iPod, I absolutely loved it. And I was enjoying my experience for a whole day. But I am returning it. Why? Look at the wheel. So original iPod wheel. You feel this over here? It's more of a smooth. You still feel a little bit of an edge over here, but it's a very, very smooth experience over here for your finger. On this guy, this is a brand new Chinese made one. You see also the lettering is slightly different. You see this one's bolder. And that, you know, the little arrows. Notice that side by side. So what will end up happening is um, I found the glitch. The glitch is playing the next song. You see, it didn't press the next song this time, but this time it did. You see, I pressed it once and it didn't work. So on the original ones, this edge over here feels a lot more razor and pronounced. And this part too, this, this whole part, if you never had the original, if you never felt this, you would not know that this is um, some sort of Chi Chinese made one. So I called the guy up on his phone number because he gives support on his jobs, right? And I asked him like, hey, uh, do you have an option with the original wheel like or OEM originally from Apple? He's like, oh, apparently they stopped manufacturing those parts years ago. Whether they did or, or not, according to him at least, that you have to get the wheel off um, another iPod. But here's the deal, right? This part, if it was not for this, if I guess I was, you know, they have those headphones with a little remote, the Apple ones, let's say the Apple ear pods, you can press next. And technically you don't even have to touch this, but touching it is also an experience. Cause like you're listening to a song, right? And then you go like, you know, you know, this feels nice. You're constantly touching it. 
It's a device that was originally perfected by Steve Jobs. This is actually what brought me to actually thinking about this. You know, this experience in the past two days, listening to this guy for a whole day, really enjoying the experience except for the wheel. If the wheel was, if, he, if the guy would have put the original wheel on this, like maybe this one, even if it had a gray accent in the middle, that would actually be really cool. The gray accent from here, all right? This original black wheel, I would have absolutely just wrote crazy rave reviews uh, about it. But I, I can't, especially I got a faulty one, right? You know, this one, this replacement wheel. So that's my call out that it's possible that when you do these custom jobs, that they have these replacement wheels. So I've been actually trying to figure out a solution. So my understanding on eBay, I haven't researched them, is that there are people that offer an upgrade service where you could send them your iPod and they'll just upgrade the drive and maybe put a fresh battery for you, right? So maybe that's the more worthwhile upgrade is to get yourself an original working iPod, test it out with your own headphones, listen to it for a while, make sure everything like, you know, works. You know, you press the next song, it just keeps, you know, this is what it's supposed to do, you know? And it's not supposed to do this, you know? See, I pressed it, it didn't work. But you see that switching is kind of, that second, I'm kind of imagining this, right? This is 1,822 songs. Imagine filling up 512 gigs with fast access times. That's the benefit of this guy. Also, the battery, the efficiency of the battery is amazing. So imagine you have a device that you just have in your pocket, and anytime you want to escape from all the bull crap in the world, you just go, throw your pair of headphones on, and press play. I mean, the experience of it, the simplicity of it, the smart design of it and the feeling of the original Apple. That's also the experience you get with the with, with the iPod. Is that this makes you want to dance? You have the headphones. You have high high definition music playing. No Bluetooth. You're not getting radiated. You're not getting cell phone tracked. You're not getting all this bull crap. Your battery isn't discharging from your phone. You could step away from text messages and all this politics and just enjoy life. So this guy is getting returned only because of the wheel. Otherwise, uh, A plus on, on the job there, but I wish in the listing there would have been like, I would not, I would be happy to pay an extra 50 bucks if I got the original wheel. This guy was 512 gigs about, with tax about 450, 440, 450, right? Um, but I mean, where's 450 and 500 difference if you have the better experience with this guy, this custom gold plate, you can't get anywhere else. A gold and black edition. Nobody has this. This is just absolutely stunning to enjoy. I just wish that wheel was working. And I guess in a way I got lucky because I got the experience to enjoy that. These guys I had uncharged for for months and and then I realized how nice the original experience of the original iPod so let me put it to you this way to get an iPod classic definitely yes whether you get an SSD upgrade a quality of life stuff the 512 gig or you could get a 256 gig save some money but I figured if, if I'm gonna get an upgraded one I might as well get the biggest size I can just because I enjoy it T -t technology this guy you plug into itunes 512 gigs boom throw your songs on the songs also i think copy faster to this guy so when you have when you start getting to a collection probably over 100 gigabytes but that's easy to do if you have audio books if you have like you know lectures you're listening to i'm sure you know you could start filling this stuff up like for example the experience of listening to an audiobook is amazing you could just go to the audiobook section and, um, I mean, like, you know, think about it as a man thinketh, right? And I guess I was listening to this before because I'm 17 minutes in. So any, anytime you want to take a break and listen to a podcast or an audio book, you can always go, 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 go to one of these. You can connect, it to the, connect this to Audible and throw, you know, entire books 
and just listen to them of your own. For those that have children, right? Think about this. It's not a text message device. It's not creating Wi-Fi. It's not connecting to Wi-Fi. So they're not going to be on the internet, you know, looking at all these, you know, bad websites and, you know, whatever. I just think about it. If there's a device that people would just like could turn on, throw a lecture on, listen to some music, it's amazing. So I say the SSD seek times is a noticeable difference. You know, let's say half a second to a second. You multiply that like, you know, in 10 minutes, you could have switched between like 50 songs maybe because you're trying to find to that song to your mood at that moment. Um, that's nice. But what you definitely want is the original and somebody that's professional and can do that for you maybe or figure out to do it yourself. But I'm, I'm more than happy to provoke, you know, help people that know how to do it, you know, pay the money for a quality service. You know, because I want my original Apple feeling experience of this stuff of a smooth, uh, you know, device that's nice and works nice and is beautiful and sleek. And this part feels good. And this part over here, you put these guys side by side, no good. By itself, amazing, right? If the, especially if the wheel worked, I would have probably, I would have probably kept it. You know, like this guy should be like, you know, I press next, it didn't do nothing. Okay, now it did. Now, now it didn't. Okay, now it's working a little bit. Now it didn't. You know, now I pressed again. Okay, didn't work. All right. You see what I mean? Uh, I have to return it. And the guy was upset. Oh, I didn't ask him to, to ship it back. But look, guys, it's your, your pay. You're working hard. You earned your money and you want to buy something nice. You're paying for the quality experience, right? So if, if the easier thing is to press return, you should do it, you know? So this guy's getting returned. I got a label for it. So the experience of buying was was nice. So don't buy the pre-built ones. I guess get get a working one. And look, just even with the 160 gigs, I highly recommend this guy. And it's going to be a collector's item one day. I think this is always going to be worth money, an iPod, especially with your own music. It's, I would say it's not only worth money, it's actually priceless. The experience is priceless where you could have the right song for you to enjoy the mood of your day, enjoy your coffee, enjoy a cigarette, enjoy... Uh, the day, enjoy the sun, enjoy, you know, the company of your friends, family. It's just nice, you know? So, <laughs> SSD, yes. Wheel, necessary, most important thing. So, get your own upgrade. Don't buy the pre-built ones, I guess. Because um, originally when I first bought it, like when I first started playing it, I wasn't noticing this issue. It wasn't like so prevalent. I just thought I was like, maybe I'm crazy or something, right? But then popping this guy out for comparison and listening to this, um, I got to feel the difference. And I'm glad I had these before to show me that the original Apple experience is the best. You know, the original Apple. But this gold front panel, I mean, ooh, imagine this wheel was here. I'd be like, oh, yeah, this is a baby. 512 gigs. Last for more hours than ever before. Fast seek time so you can have thousands of songs. You have basically a private DJ in your pocket. Are you kidding me? That price is invaluable. And there's no Wi-Fi. There's no wires. It's just you and the headphones. You and the iPod. Nobody could put on this and put something in your mind that you don't want there. If there's something you're listening to you don't want, you just press next. That's it. Finished. Like, it makes life simple. So, right, my friends? I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a nice thumbs up so other people could learn this information and come from like, you know, the, coming from the audio file experience, coming from the enjoyment experience, coming from the user experience of the original iPod Classic. I have gotten a lot more respect for Steve Jobs ever since the, this guy. Because I think I got this one, I wound up buying myself an iPhone because I'm like, this just feels nice. What quality, you know, how nice is this? And I got that, but then, ooh, custom bespoke. Oh, so nice. Very nice. You know, I, I, I told the seller I wanted to love it. I, you know, you know, with all my heart, but it has to go back. But no worries, guys. I'm going to figure out a way to just get an SSD maybe on one of these, or maybe I'll buy a few more on eBay and then get the SSD upgrade and I'll have a normal wheel. I'll know that all the internals that were working when I sent them in, and all I'm getting is an SSD and maybe um, battery upgrade. Fantastic. All right, my friends, I hope you enjoyed the review. Give it a thumbs up. 
write your comments below. I want to hear what you guys think. Uh, what was your experience with your upgrades? Are you planning to upgrade or are you planning to just leave it? You know, it's fine to leave it too. It's a great experience. So, all right, my friends, talk to you soon.